if you're anything like me, the election upset you. Is this Gore too? I thought Hillary won the popular vote. There's still a chance that we can get her into the White House, but for now it looks like Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. I've lived off of ice cream and coffee, and basically just watched YouTube videos, and been a blanket burrito, but it's time to wake up. to keep the conversation going and make sure we all have different bows and area codes or with different area codes and sisters with other sisters and uh, we want to see them come back and forth without too much trouble. We'd like to travel easily and um, we'd like uh, the world to be a beautiful, peaceful place and I'm sure a lot of people want their businesses to do well so they can ensure happiness for their family. But there are alternative solutions to any business, it, um, and if resources are running out, I think we have to invest in companies like Solar City that will move solar panels with you to your next home. And um, the Michael Waters wind turbine, which actually catches air instead of cutting through it like a propeller blade, more religion and politics. Uh, I guess, are the animals for us or are we for the animals? That's a decision we have to make. I've been worried about Donald Trump being president because of all these ideas like, like search and seizure, which is unconstitutional. The Fourth Amendment gives us our rights to privacy without intrusion. And if you didn't know this, um, you can cover up your camera on your phone and your microphone to avoid any eavesdropping, anything that could potentially come back to bite you. There's no way uh, he can do a lot of the things that he said that he's wanted to do. There are checks and balances. Oh my gosh. I can only hope for the best as a world citizen not just a citizen of the United States who's going to stay here for the plan I'm doing. Mm. Excuse me. People are talking a lot about leaving. And that's fine. You can do that. You can leave. That's fine. Um, but I honestly uh, think that this Donald Trump has a lot to do with people investing in citizenship. I know my dad is on the waiting list now, finally, to become a citizen of this country. Um, we may leave NATO just because it's expensive, but I think that'd be a bad idea. It'd be a step in the wrong direction, a step backward. I know we want to get on our own feet, and it's really up to us to start exporting to countries like China instead of just bringing everything in here. We can just start producing more and getting some valuable goods and services out to the rest of the world. Final thoughts. Um, Trump is president-elect and Obama is still president of the United States. These are some facts coming from a Medium writer. I'll link it below. Three women of color were voted into the Senate. I don't have the names. Um, Nevada elected Cortez Maestro, the first Hispanic senator. Um, California elected Kamala Harris, the first Indian American senator, and Illinois elected Tammy Duxworth, the first Thai American and first Democratic woman combat veteran in the Senate. Um, that's great. Um, I really like to see these um, black and white labels disappearing in favor for um, national heritage. And um, uh, final thoughts, um, what do we stand for? Tolerance, acceptance, respect, fighting for the truth, justice, fiercely combating hate with love. And um, final, final thoughts, if you're really against terrorism, you should probably oppose the current drone war tactics that I assume are still in place. Much love to you.